So what we need to understand about this, there are three what he mentions. <coughs> one is countless life, one is 10 eons, another one is 40 eons. Okay. Countless life is, he's not seen an eon. That's the first one, if you have not read it properly. The second one is, he has seen 10 eons of expansion and contraction. That means millions of lives of expansion and millions of lives of contraction. <coughs> so someone, some samana or brahmana, where to do it, he would get into this opinion that he has seen it expanding and contracting, so he's not too sure whether it will be expanding and contracting in the same way because the max he could see is 40 eons. He's seen that after that it has stabilized. So he says that just like a pillar, just like a mountain, it's stable. So in that beings comes and goes. So, what if, if I were to go on to the 31st level of existence and I can see all beings coming and going, but I will remain? What's the point? So, uh, this uh, Neva Sanya, Na Sanya Aitana is the highest. Where you exist eternally. Okay. Any any counter argument, questions, concerns? So that Nama Rupa, the deepest Nama Rupa, which is Vinyana itself or Gandhabha, can stay for eons and eons and eons and eons, like 40 eons, what he could see. And hence he says, I don't know whether it could expand or contract even more. Okay. Hope you are clear on this. If we see here 40 eons, everything remains the same, but it's 40 eons. If you see up, it is 10 eons. If you see up, it's only some past lives. Many hundreds of thousands of past lives, but not a eon. Now you've seen 10 eons. Here you've seen 40 eons. Buddha can know all the eons, not 40, all. And then he can confidently say that Vinyana Nirodha will happen. So, question comes why are we following Buddha? Is because he has taught how to extinguish. The Vinyan, which is you, basically. So don't think that you are different and Vinyan is different. It's nothing like that. The Vinyana knows that I was there. And that's the reason in the Putta Mamsa Sutta, he says Vinyana Ahara, he gives that example. Like somebody is giving a spear, 100 in the morning, 100 in the evening, afternoon, 100 in the evening, and yet Vinyana is there. It's like so many births. First, one birth itself is horrendous. It becomes ready to get another one, gets another one, gets another one, gets another one, like that. Because that's ahara. 
Nama Rupa is the Ahar. What's the Nama Rupa in that Ahar? Kamma is the Ahar. Uttu is the Ahar. Okay, so it, yes. Uh, you can finish. I'll ask it after you finish. Nice. No, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. No, I, I was thinking uh, today earlier. I was reading that uh, uh, Melinda Panha by that chair by uh, uh, Bante. So I think it says about this. He was asking why is there no beginning to be identified, right? So you give the example of tree and their seeds, and again, and tree again becomes seeds, right? So and he said no beginning. That's that's earlier than ignorance is there can be identified. It's yes. not, not backward. So I guess this this person, this this uh, Brahmin or not Brahmin, this this uh, uh, other other traditions or other teachers, they're able to go very far, very far, but they're not able to identify where ignorance has started. He cannot jump out of this uh, let's say scope of ignorance. Yes. And the Ignorance of what? Okay. Ignorance of establishing the consciousness getting established. That's the ignorance. Vinyanam anidasanam. Instead of that, it is vinyanam nidasanam. It's established consciousness. So when it establishes on patavi apotejo vayo, it can never know. After, after a while, it can't know it. Just like, do you know your past life? And the answer is no. Forget about 40 eons. Such a saint. He won't even know one life. Forget about 40 eons. It's not one life, two lives. <clears throat> they are so far away. They are so accomplished, actually. When compared to us. Got it. So we can't talk lightly about Alara Kalama or Buddha Karamaputta or anyone because they think we think that okay, the Buddha won over. Not like that. Not at all like that. So it would be a mistake or it would be a bad uh, karma if we were to talk lightly of others because they have seen so much. 40 eons is not small. A person who can't even see one past life, 40 eons is what? So many lives he could remember. So I, I don't mind being that disciple of that person because at least I can learn how to see at least 10 lives. Forget 40 eons. If somebody teaches me how to see 100 lives, I'll say, great. If somebody teaches me how to see thousand lives, say, great. Somebody teaches me how to see 100 million lives, great. But we are talking eons of contraction. Contraction. No life exists. Then expansion. So many cosmos have gone. We have not even seen one eon. Forget about 40 eons. So if we were to see 40 eons, wouldn't it not be right that we agree that soul exists? Because you are seeing 40 eons, not one life, two life, 100 life, 200 life, 500 lives, 1000 lives, 100,000 lives, million lives, trillion lives. It doesn't end. It doesn't end. It just keeps on coming and next one, and the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one. It's amazing. And hence, we, Buddha calls Vinyana as a magician. Maya Upamancha Vinyanam. So it would be wrong on my part to consider the vinyana just arises and passes away the next moment. Not at all. Which vinyana arises and passes away? The one which has come with chakku will arise and pass away. One which has come with sota will arise and pass away. 
one with ghana, ganda, jiva, like that, that will pass away with the object. But that, that witness consciousness, which is witnessing, has to get extinguished completely. That's arhat. So how far am I from being arhat? That much far I am. Right? So the, so the thing is, who is getting established? I gets established. Who is I? Nama Rupa. Out of four, the fourth one. The first one, just the name. Like Ariu, Bobby, this, that. Okay. Not, no big deal. That we did. Second one is the role what we play. Okay, understood. Okay, not, no, no, nothing wrong. Willing to let go of it. Nobody lets go of it. But I have let go of it. Excellent. Okay. A third one is the six senses consciousness. Let go of it. Perfect. You are coming into the Arupa Jhana now. If you let go of those things, automatically brings, builds, builds up Arupa Jhana. Now you can come into Neva Sanyana Sanyayatana. Superb. What about the fourth one? That's still there. This is Sasattavada. Okay. This we shouldn't forget. So let's not have a wrong misconception that Nama Rupa with Vinyana means arising and passing away of everything, including the eons arises and passes away. And that's the truth. So if eons were to arise and pass away, the consciousness also arises and passes away. That means there is nothing which can be said <coughs> stable, dhuva. It's adhuva, unstable. Can't say it is neither arising nor passing away, and hence it is anicca, because it arises and passes away, even though it looks stable. Like you know, day comes, day goes. We aren't we feeling stable? We are feeling stable. I, are you are you getting an earthquake every two minutes? No. Don't you see or don't I see that I'm meeting all of these people next in just two days? Am I feeling uneasy in any, any single way or are they feeling uneasy that we might, might not meet on Sunday? No. What's the guarantee that the flight will take off? But still we know it will. Why? Because consciousness can make it happen. It's not you who is making it happen. It's a consciousness, it's a magician which makes it happen. And you are conscious. So obviously that's what it means. Okay. So we need to see this in this perspective. If we were so sure of unstability, then we won't have even going on to the Buddha Dhamma or any Dhamma because then there's no point. Absolutely no point. It's pointless. Because it is temporary, because it is still dhuva, stable, to a temporary extent, because consciousness can get established, transmigration is possible. Everything is possible. Because consciousness Six consciousness can keep on transmigrating, and that is what is there in the uh, the Mahatanha Sankaya Sutta. Buddha was upset with that fisherman because he thought this consciousness keeps on going from stream to stream. So six consciousness is six consciousness. 
it keeps on appearing and disappearing appearing and disappearing new, new life also it appears it becomes a a new form with new eyes new ear new nose new tongue new body and new mind and then it passes away but there is a witness consciousness and we are talking about this sasasasasattavada where even that extinguishes clear any doubt before we move to the next next one is about <coughs> finding about of what you are in the in that this life next previous life and previous life and all that so before that any question yes um the eighth jhana the nevatanya na sanyayata is there no mind uh, consciousness in that at all at the meaning itself is that uh, how do you get perception you require mind to perceive right if there is nothing to if there is a realm called asanya okay the bhava is is asanya is eko the bhava there's only one it's asanya there's no perception but that's a that's a realm of existence that means that means it would be impossible to perceive anything so there's no feeling it looks as though the person is extinguished but after that it comes back so neva sanya neither perception na sanya nor non perception what it really means you are awake at sleeping that's the perception what we are talking about that's the reason it's very difficult to understand and hence that kalaha vivada sutta talks about na sanya sanni pisanya sanni no pasanni like that because it's very difficult to anyone to say you are percipient but yet you are not percipient yes okay, so I'm, i'm asking because you seem to make a uh, distinction from the talk of the six consciousness ceases and this this consciousness itself ceases which i thought the the highest realm you would not have the six consciousness at all which means the mind See, even if you read a chula shunyata sutta Yesterday, I think I said that to you. It exists, but it sleeps. When he says the last realm or last is which one is no perception and no feeling. Sanya Veda ita nirodha. That means consciousness. extinguished because if there is consciousness it had it can perceive are you perceiving anything consciously or unconsciously you are perceiving consciously let's again go back if you name if a person is named vilas the first layer of consciousness is a conditioned consciousness which takes vilas as an object it's a food for that so it perceives it feels so there's a feeling of vilas and there's a feeling of other perception of vilas so if there is america there is a feeling of america there is a perception of america if there's australia there is a perception of australia there is a feeling of australia that's the first layer okay it's like you peel onion and then the first layer then come to the second layer the role what you play is a second layer of conscious experience where if somebody is called as a friend he perceives as a friend he feels as a friend if somebody is called a wife she perceives herself as a wife and feels she is a wife like that as a second feel 
the third pill which we are talking in the neva sanya na sanya ayatana is that this ayatana six ayatana salayatana the consciousness in that is arising and passing away but here it is it is ceased so it means it neither comes nor it goes it's like suspension so the so the yogis of the past what they used to think they in fact is there in the buddha buddha says that in many sutta that etan santan etan panitan yadidam neva sanya na sanya aitana so that's the highest you can go if you are percipient they know there's a danger that if you're perceiving something it will establish later sooner or later get established and hence a empty mansion of brahma starts why because they come down from the 31st level to 30 to 29 to 28 and then the the single brahma appears and then he becomes percipient that i am the brahma i am the maha brahma i am this so there's a feeling of brahma there's a perception of brahma then he feels if any other being were to come then the next being comes and then they then pray to this brahma saying that you are the all seeing and all looking because you came before us so then the next then the next then the next then the next right origin of things aganya sutta right why is it happening because of the perception consciousness can perceive can you not perceive sound you can can you not perceive sight and when you perceive it you know what it is you are not going to oh, what's that sound is what's that sound is you are not going to act like that you are going to say this is car and that's this and when you see the road will you just see what road is that no you know so and so drive you just driving you know this exit so that's perceive that's perception that's a first layer of perception not even the second layer of perception the first layer of perception so all our life we are spending on the first layer only as are you as vilas as supriya as bobby and then i am a indian i am a this one i am in america i am here i am there and all that is a perception hold on before you ask any further question let me finish so this perception is not what is spoken here in the neva sanya na sanya aitana neither the second one is spoken it's the third one which is being spoken as a neva sanya na sanya aitana but that there ends it because the still the consciousness exists in the six senses the true consciousness which is the creation of itself which is why it's called sasattvada because that can see all the existences nor the first one can see it nor the second one can see it nor the third one can see it so i get an opinion that i am having an eyes i am having a ear i am having a nose so that will keep on changing but i am not changing right i get a pair of eyes ear nose tongue body and mind but it's not mine agreed but i am there right to me only this is coming this i is coming this ear is coming to know so i will purify myself so that i come into the 31st realm of existence like that so that's the highest point and that person as a human when he goes there he can see all the eons like 40 eons what is indicated and hence he knows he existed because it's not a three three levels of perception we are talking about it's the subtlest perception and subtlest feeling what you can have so without feeling that you are a brahma right how do you know you are a brahma because you feel and you perceive this is brahma like somebody goes to the first jhana don't they perceive first jhana 
Don't they feel first jhana? They would. When they go to second jhana, don't they perceive second jhana? They would. Don't they feel second jhana? They would. Because they are getting joy. The second jhana. You can't say there is nothing like that. If you look Mahadukkha Khanda Sutta, he talks about feeling. He says all the four jhanas are anicca, dukkha, viparinama, dhamma. If you have really read it carefully. Why? Because that is dependent on the percep percep perception and feeling. You can't stand on perception and feeling. Because it is unstable. Even the fourth jhana is unstable. It's unstable. You can't say, I have entered into fourth jhana. I will stay there forever. Sorry. You can't. And that is the reason it is the deepest dukkha. It's not what we are talking, jati pi dukkha, jara pi dukkha, like, you know, reading it out. And that is foolishness. The dukkha here is you can't establish anywhere. You can't establish means you can't. No matter how much consciousness tries to establish. Because it's always aniddhasana vinyana. The moment it starts to become niddhasana vinyana, it cannot happen. So what Buddha says, vattam vattati, just like a whirlpool. The whirlpool effect came into existence because the water was flowing and uh, there was a gush of another set of water trying to go against the stream. And instead of going, flowing, it became circling over there. Creating a, uh, what we can, we, we can call that the chasm where it keeps on going round, 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 round and pulling everything it finds under. And that is loka with six senses. So now you can position and say there it exists, there it exists, there it exists, there it exists. Because it's moving from here, after some time it goes there, it goes there, as though it is transmigrating. Not realizing it's just the water. There is no current there. Because this water has a current, it turned back. Let's say there was a stone, it turned back and started going towards upstream. It can't happen. So it started rotating there. In the same way, this established consciousness is like that. It's just established. So it will establish as long as there is perception and feeling. And to make it happen, it will have sankhara. Because it has to make it happen. So we make it happen. We make vilas happen. Make it happen. Then Indian, Australian, New Zealand, American, this one, that one, staying here, staying there, all of that is making happen. Sankhara. So the first level. Come to the second level. Again, you have to make yourself to be a father, to brother, sister, this, that, wife, husband, all of this. It's made up. It's not real. It's made up. But still you will perceive. Still you feel. You see this fun. You will feel and perceive. What we are talking is neva sanya, na sanyayatana. That means he has kicked out the first level. Gone. No trace of it. He has kicked out the second level. No trace of it. He has come to the third level. He has kicked it out. But the fourth one he is not able to go. So he is neither dead nor alive. Okay. In the Upanishad, this is called as Turiya, the state of fourth. And in the Buddha Dhamma, it's Neva Sanya Na Sanya Aitana. Neither perception nor non perception. Because with perception, only a feeling can come. If you can't perceive, you can't feel anything. And hence, the ninth jhana is Sanya Vedaita Nirodha. Now you have extinguished completely. Completely, there is no trace of avidya. There is no avidya. 
Now you are released. The mind released. Mind means chitta. It's released. That means that vattam vattati is now gone. It submerged in the water. And hence Buddha gives that simile of the lamp. Oil lamp. When it is extinguished, can you say it went to the left? or to the right, or to the east, or to the west, or to the top, or to the bottom, nothing. It extinguished. Why it extinguished? Because there was no fuel. What's the fuel? Fuel is perception and feeling. As long as there is a perception and feeling, it's going to be there. So in the Chula Shunita Sutta, he goes Shunita, 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 and you have to drop that. You have to drop that. Otherwise, in the last, you will have only the six sense perception. And feeling associated. Subtle, but yet there. Yet there. Now, in our case, are you, we are at a level of either one or two. You are not even at three. When you come to three, you are an anagami. Because you can see <clears throat> that there is nothing else in this. So, you see the asara nature of it. And when you come to four, you are an arhat. So the first level practice is letting go of vilas and this and that and all that is sotapanna. The second round, when he comes back, like father, son, this, that, he knows he's playing the role. So you have to just do the best role for the second one. It's a, ana, it's a sakadagan. As it comes to the third one, he knows this ayatana is not his. Neso mama, neso ahamasmi, neso name atta. So he has no, um, what I can say, abhijja, that I should possess like this. No vyapada, ill will. He is very benevolent. Because he knows there is nothing in that. He himself is everyone. So there is nothing that he likes or dislikes, basically. So third level is over. What about the fourth level? What we are talking here, on that sutta is a fourth level. Yes, Bobby. See, in uh, like uh, Alara Karama and uh, Uddha Gram, uh, those cases, and they have reached this, uh, you know, um, uh, eighth level that where there is this only this uh, perception is remaining. But uh, they have they have gone through this uh, first jhana, second jhana, third jhana. Yes, so absolutely. Why? This uh, first level and second level or third level, they have not reached. They would have reached, but yeah. they are not able to complete the ending of defilement. That's a problem. That's all. No, what I mean, at least why they didn't become a Sutrapanna or a Sakitagami. That's what this whole Sutta is on that. See, we are naming them as Sutrapanna, but Sutrapanna can be in any form. any As long as they can know the true nature of things. They can be in Sotapanna, but that doesn't mean that nobody can achieve the eight jhana. They can. Why? It's not a trademark of somebody that only these people are, can attain and these people cannot attain. Anybody can attain it. As long as they know how to let go of the, um, the perception of self, they can do it. That is, I am Vilas. I am named Vilas. I can sit and do it. I need not have a Buddhist to do it. Absolutely not required. So I can do the first jhana. Wait for a second, Dario. I can do the second jhana. I can do the third jhana. I can do the fourth jhana. But there's a problem here. He wouldn't know it is anicca nature because he sees a stable. That's why the reason that that section is. It is dhuva. It's stable. He's saying it's like a mountain which stays all the time. So except for a Buddha who can come and say that is also unstable, nobody can see it. Okay. If That's the reason they couldn't become an electrical man also. Whatever. So, let, let go of that. What is the problem? Let us address it between the other tradition and Buddha tradition. In other tradition, can be Christianity, can be Hindu, can be Hebrew, can be uh, Islam, can be whatever. Whatever which says you will go to heaven. Yes, possible. Is that the final outcome of it? No. Can you be born wherever you want to be born? No. 
So in the other traditions, you coming back in which existence cannot be set. So basically, you can go to Brahma realm and the next moment you can become a lizard after ending of that. Or can become an ant, can become a bacteria, can become whatever. So, what Buddha did is to establish a proper system where if you do this, you will definitely not be able to be born in this realm because you are incapable of doing that. Then if you do this, you are incapable of getting into this realm. Right? So, now you have a gradation system which is properly put. So, the yogis of the past, they knew how to do it. Absolutely, they knew. But nobody could exactly say whether they remain there forever and this sutta especially where he talks about sasattavada you get into that because you are seeing 40 eons so he says i don't know whether in future it will be like this it has happened now i have seen 40 eons it has remained stable i have seen beings coming and passing away so i am sure of establishing in this existence forever. Right? In the case of Uddhaka Ramaputta, that's exactly what he did. He went into the Neva Sanyana Sanyayatana. Excellent. There's no other realm as proficient as that. Perfect. It would be hundreds of eons before which he comes back to some existence. It's fair. Ours is hardly 100 years. We are talking eons. If he, even if he were to blink, we would have come 1000 times. So, like that, uh, Bobby. So, it's nothing to do with Sakatagami, Sotapanna, Anagami, this and that. that but, uh, according to Sutta, he couldn't become even a Sotapanna because. Basically, it is because I, what I'm understanding is that this Buddha's teaching clearly defined that, you know... That's exactly what I'm saying. Now, after he finishes his Neva Sanya, Na Sanya Aitana, he can be reborn anywhere. Anywhere. That's the problem. It's not so that he can't become... So, the wisdom, wisdom aspect is not there. Okay. The no, 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 no. I think you're taking it totally wrong. Wisdom for both is the same. The Panya to get there right. is the same. But can you ensure that you don't get to a lower existences? That is not there. Let's say I take Jesus and I totally rely on Jesus. By relying on Jesus, can I get into a heavenly realm? Yes, I can. What stops me from not doing it? But can I promise myself? that after finishing that heavenly realm, where I would be reborn, that nobody knows. I believe in Krishna. Can I take a existence based upon that? Yes, I can do it. I exactly follow what is written from the Krishna perspective. And I do it. It works. So I've got into Krishna consciousness. Done. But no. After the term is over, I don't know where I'll be reborn. That's the problem. The Dukkha is that. The actual Dukkha is, you can't predict where you will be reborn. So what Buddha did? He gave clarity. He, this is the limit for Putta Janna. This is the limit for Sotapanna. This is the limit for Sakadagami. This is the limit for Anagami. And there is no limit for Arhat. Because even in the Upanishad, you will find the word Arya. But the meaning of Arya is noble. Noble one who has seen ending of defilements. So they thought this is what the ending of defilement means. If you take Bible, you will find the same, not the same word, but some other word explaining that, that there is this uh, Holy Spirit and there is Father, there is this and all of that 
makes you feel that yes, there's someone who is taking care of it. So every religion worth the name knows how to go there. It's not the problem of going there. It's the problem of where you will get established again. The question is, can you stop this establishing of consciousness? That's what Buddha teaching is. To ensure that there is no further establishing of consciousness. Anidasana instead of Niddasana. Yes, me. Go ahead. Is it like how you said in the movie Samsara, the guy just kind of suppressed all his um, defilements. So yes. then he can go to the heaven through the realms for the next life. But then his future life, he's still got all the defilements. Uh, and then if he doesn't do good with it, he's going to end up in the lower realms. Exactly. So all the religious teachings, minusing the Buddha, if you keep Buddha aside, take all the religious traditions, they all speak the same. But they can't promise whether this consciousness will never get established. And that's the reason, even in the Upanishad, there is a fear. Let God take care of me from not establishing. So now you have to put it on God because you don't know how it is going to get established. So there is a uh, shloka there. It says, Bhadram Karne Bhi Shrunayama Devaha. So you require Bhadra, that means protection. From what? Shrunu, to hear. Let me hear whatever God wants me to hear. The same thing is in the, in the, in the Gospels. If you take the New Testament or the Old Testament, you will have the same thing. God will, you be in the God and God will take care of you. Or if I'm, if I'm an Islam person, then I can say that Allah will take care of me. Why? Because I don't want to struggle in life. The, the rebirth in an existence which I don't want is a dukkha. Yam pichan nalabati tampi dukkha. So I'm getting a birth which I don't want in a place, right? But I, I'm helpless. So for that reason only, the 31st realm is the highest. But you are right, Bobby, that when the person finishes as Allah, as Uddhakarama Putta, after millions of eons, will he not come back? He will. But does he know where is he going to come back? We don't know. Yes, sir, you. Uh, earlier, I was thinking, because when I read the what the Mahabrahma was saying. He's saying, I'm the God, I'm the maker, I'm the creator, I'm the one. And all that. It sounds like what uh, some religion promotes as the creator God. So I was thinking maybe Mahabrahma is what they got this idea from. But you're saying it's uh, they can even see the highest 31st realm, not just uh, Mahabrahma. See, wherever you are, now you are in America. You are given a visa, no, you have a passport of America. Don't you feel American? Mahabrahma will feel he is Mahabrahma. If you go and talk to Uddhakarama Putta, he would say, yes, I am on the highest ever existence and there is no death for me. Because I am established. And Bobby will trickle him and say, no, my friend, Buddha will say, Buddha says that even you are counted. Your days are counted. Yes, are you? Just like I may feel I'm a permanent president, thinking I'm going to be permanent to be American, not knowing, you know, there can be a war and, you know, America. No, not good. required, are you? See, when you sleep, Forget about war and famine and all that. When any one of us sleeps, you are removed of your Indianness, you are removed of Americanness, you are removed of anything ever you ever had. That's quite sufficient and scary. Actually. But we are not scared. And that's exactly is there in the Putta Mamsa Sutta. The Vinyana doesn't mind taking the beating. See, are we any one of us scared when we go to sleep, deep sleep, 
you lose your conscious experience of vilas, of being a father, being a brother, being a sister, being this, being that, gone. Six senses. But that fourth one is still there or not? That's what is, what he is saying here in the sutta. That consciousness can establish, can see millions of eons. That Buddha refuted the claim, saying that even that can be extinguished. So the Turiya state or the Nevasanya, Nasanya, Aitana state is the one which you go in deep sleep in ignorance. Now you are going into deep sleep with knowledge, with wisdom. If you can get that, you have surpassed all the realms. I come to the 31st realm. All beings die in sleep. They don't have identity. Right? The first thing that is removed is the name. Anything that is named is removed in the night. Even when you go to a dream state, forget about going to deep sleep state. In the dream state itself, you don't know who you are. Some random dream will keep on coming. Then, deep sleep. Dead. Dead to the world. At that point, Bobby is no longer an Australian, neither an Indian, nor has any wife, nor has any kids, nor has any home. Isn't it true with each one of us? That's the fourth one, Nama Rupa. But yet Nama Rupa exists. So the Vinyana is feeding onto that Nama Rupa, which is Gandabha. Okay. Now, that will be there all the time. It doesn't go. It gets established in the next life. Next. Whatever the, it has to come, it comes. So, the Kamma Vijay is there only. So, the Kamma will rectify. Okay, the consciousness takes that. So, Kamma Bija, sorry, Kamma Khetta, Vinyana Bija, Anhasineho. So, it takes and it grows. So, the person is dead as far as his deep sleep goes. Is dead. He doesn't know where he is, yes or no. When your six senses are awakened the next day, and when the sanya presents itself, the perception, you get perception of Ariu or Bobby. Okay? When brushing the teeth, you get the perception of the teeth and you feel. Yes. Yeah, I think some teacher, I don't know if Ramana Maharshi, but he says, for some eye feeling that arises and gets you identify, I guess maybe the second, first or second layer of Nama Rupa arises like that. Yes, yeah. that's correct. So you should see all the four Nama Rupa. When you get that four Nama Rupa experiences, you will come to see that the perception feeling is there in the first one. This gross or grossest. The second one is slightly subtler than the gross because when I see my wife, don't I, do I call her mother? Do I call her sister? Do I call her something else? No, I'll call her my wife. The second one, there's a perception, there's a feeling. She's my wife, there's a feeling. It's not somebody's wife. It's my wife. Right? Forget my wife. This is my computer. Even though the computer belonged to Apple before I bought it, so I have a perception of my computer. And my feeling of the computer. This is, when you touch it, it's my computer which I'm touching. Even though it's 
100% untrue. It's not even apples because this aluminium is in the ground. They didn't, you know, they didn't manufacture aluminium. They manufactured the laptop using the aluminium. Right? They didn't, they didn't manufacture glass. They manufactured glass, but they didn't manufacture sand. Sand is there. So just because you take some sand and you make glass, you claim this is, you developed it. Now that's what consciousness will do. It will feel, perceive, feel, perceive, feel, perceive, feel, perceive. So don't I feel I am Vilas? Absolutely yes. Don't I feel and perceive I am a father, I am a son, I am a husband? Yes. Absolutely true. So when the wife dies, will or not try? Mother Sudan, no, you, you have to be really sorry now. So, <laughs> so the thing is that if it gets into perception, there's instantaneously there's a feeling. So, only when you sleep, Deep sleep. There's a stopping of perception and feeling of all the three. So the six senses. So what do I do in then going uh, retreat? Let's take that as an example. So when there's a kalapa happening, the perception is spoiled. The ghanasanya is spoiled because now the consciousness. He is saying, oh, wait a second. Shit, everything is moving. So then what happens to feeling? The, the Sukha Vedana, pleasant feeling, is not there. Then, the painful feeling is not there. changes itself into upek, equanimous, because there is nothing to feel, because your perception is spoiled, is completely spoiled. Then what happens? If perception and feeling is spoiled, the sankharas are stopped, because you wanted to manufacture, there is nothing there to manufacture. What is there to manufacture? So you sit like this. And the vinyana waits. One, two, three, four, five, six, gone. How and why? First, chakku dhatu. Chakku dhatu is the quality of chakku. Chakku vinyana dhatu. You already close your eyes. So when I am doing Goenka technique, I am in the retreat and I am watching the body sensation arising, passing, arising, passing, arising, passing, arising, passing. The eyes are gone. Gone? Where did it go? Stopped. Oh, what about the ear? Stop. So, sota dhatu, sota vinyana dhatu. Ghana dhatu, Gandadha, uh, sorry, Ghana Vinyana Dhatu. Stop. Kaya Dhatu, Kaya Vinyana Dhatu. Now, this is what we are doing in the Goenka technique. And you are watching the sensation, 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 sensation. It becomes like vibration then. After vibration, it starts going everywhere. So, you see Kalapas. Now, it's after Kalapa, it becomes completely blanked out. It's called bhanga. So you get bhanga jnana. Dissolution. Completely dissolved. Nothing remains. So kaya dhatu, kaya vinyana dhatu. There's no vinyana now of kaya. 
then then the manodhatu is waiting let me see let me see something will come something will come something will come nothing coming mano vinyana dhatu stops over nibbana that's it this one you can't do it in deep sleep if you could do it don't you so what's the difference between deep sleep and this here you're stopping the senses and when the senses stop it cuts the nama rupa of those senses no ahara then comes to this nama rupa gandha thing the it requires sankhara to survive when the sankharas are still no new experience can be found that's also there in the what uh, bhante had sent on that milinda panha there's a question on sankhara so in that you can see it stopped so it can't take next life so yes ceased the dukkha of establishing is gone that's the actual dukkha it's not getting established anywhere superb done it you done it this is what i experience on the 7th day and 8th day and the 9th day of vipassana in goenka can stop it yes me how many hours went goes then when you come back how do you come back nimitta so you make a nimitta and uh, when you go you make a nimitta you make a symbol that means you require sanya because nimitta is nothing but symbolization which is sanya so i will have a sanya of one hour to so sit like this one hour nothing to do with going uh, reciting that one hour just like keeping an alarm one hour gone automatically the sota vinyana dhatu will start because mano vinyana dhatu will start so when mano vinyana dhatu starts the sota vinyana dhatu will start so now you hear some sound just like in that movie that guy came and same so the sota vinyana will happen so the sota vinyana happens then the kaya starts asapas then it starts the kaya starts ghana will take over when ghana starts jiva will start when jiva starts the last one to start is chakku so you can't just open your eyes you will be blinded you will take time to open up your eyes then it takes few seconds to see like this and say where the hell i am and then that vipassana thing will come ah i am sitting in this oh shit i am sitting on this seat oh okay got it okay that's a beautiful experience so what happened first perception feeling gone vilas out second perception feeling of role gone third perception feeling of salaitana is gone the fourth perception is still got it so that's the reason i could not on the fourth day i was trying it out using satipatthana root as well as uh, whatever i have learnt in the sayukta nikaya my mind was always going towards shreyas i couldn't find him what happened to that so seat is empty so it, the perception is always going towards shreyas because he was sitting in the front i was sitting in the back so i was having one eye towards shreyas looking at what is he doing and since he was missing and another person has sat in his place on the fourth day 
when they gave the vipassana so i ignored it for fifth, fourth day fifth day and then i started getting into this one so i totally lost touch then when this uh, assistant teacher called me that day i asked him what happened to my student shreyas on the same day i had asked that uh, volunteer also there was a person called shreyas who used to come i am concerned about him do can you tell me what happened to him he said uh, only the assistant teacher knows and i asked him is he in the hospital he said no 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 nothing like that and i said okay so you can cut out everything so in that moment you can you have surpassed the 31st realm if you cut out the six senses of vinyana you are in 31st realm so you can't hear you can't see you can't taste you can't smell you can't touch you can't think yes yes balakrishna sir so i just wanted to ask you uh, we are talking about uh, recollection past lives so if we are moving on uh, 31 planes of existence that means uh, there won't be increasing number of uh, lives what do you mean we are the same we are moving from one plane of existence to other existence yes. so i mean human life next time i will be ant i will be elephant i will be monkey but number of life will be same there no it is not the number of lives or no life it is in each one of those you will come to see how many lives you have led so you are able to reflect upon the number of lives that means how many jati you have had that's the thing in that uh, in that earlier section okay okay so this is number of jati because then that's the thing, thing it is that you get into sasattavada because you've been existing forever okay any other question i think we have to close with this only then we'll not take the other one this one is even more stranger than these three uh bilas ji yes sir so the like you, you were talking about uh, the uh, grossness of the body you know we, we have our body is like stone so this is the so what say i couldn't talk that so that's why i couldn't ask you that. sure sure so, uh, so what do you what do you mean by that is it because of our uh, like uh, i read in one of the sutra is an ekanaka dikanika the sutra where he explains about evolution then the people started storing things you know holding things then they and eating uh, like you know started eating this fine i think then the body become more gross and gross so is it in the same principle like you know we are living now or we are becoming more uh, greedy or more you uh, know uh, like you uh, know storing things and doing lot wrong things that's why our body is becoming stone so and also will it become more gross or now because i was thinking that uh, when this technology uh, and or came recently in the last 10 15 years um uh, like you know it becomes more softer i believe like because people are not doing the physical jobs much so how you connect this both no it's not like no. that your bones are stone so whether you work or you don't work the frame is stone if you see an ox or a cow they have even more even though they eat only grass they have what even more thicker mass which is the, the bone density itself is so heavy so the heavier things they the being does the heavier they get the lighter things they do the lighter it gets okay so in the buddha dhamma it says patavi cha sila pamsu iti dvicha tatha nakha danta atti sila sesa pamsu pamsu means clay for all beings they are made out of clay 
like if you take your 32 parts of the body except for nakha danta this atti atti okay uh, and then uh, that's all they are made out of stone the remaining including the skin is made out of uh, clay how do i test it there's a youtube video where you can see decomposition of a pig it's a time lapse video you can see how the pumps uh, that is the clay gets just becomes watery the whole body where there's a one on of a decomposition of a deer same thing decomposition of a octopus same thing you can put it for human because you don't get that that time lapse video is not supposed to be made like that so you won't get any of a, a naked body being taken out like that there is a one farm in uh, us where they put it like that there is a farm but they will not show you entire thing but there are videos relating to how it get disintegrated so if you really see a time lapse videos like this and you can see the pumps clay so the, the whole body of 20 parts which are solid so called solid only nail teeth bone are solid the remaining thing is all clay okay now you don't you you are not a tichak yoni tichak yoni tichak yoni because raga dvesha moha equals should become 3 so at present our raga dvesha moha is not 3 so you can stand erect so when you stand erect you don't require such hard density thing so you have only three parts which are like that and the fourth part is like this meaning that doesn't mean the pig or elephant or whatever is then uh, doesn't have clay they have clay everything is made out of clay only but if you see the density it's higher our density is lower our teeth cannot eat those things unless cooked so there are a lot of changes based upon how the mentality has been so basically the dhamma in the dhamma if you were to see when it comes to the body kaya there are only two categories pamsa sila so it becomes more stony like some 800 people if you see on uh, youtube uh, you can find that their body has turned stone they can't eat they can't sit like this they can't turn like this everything is fixed they become stone so the blood is not flowing as it should be flowing because it's literally becoming stony so they'll die so like that so i don't know what exactly question you're asking on that no no what, what i ask is you know is it uh, like uh, happening this body is becoming grosser or uh, this no no of, uh, whether we work or we don't work whether people have become having the sedentary lifestyle or not it becomes more heavy bulkier but that doesn't mean that this uh, nails teeth and uh, the frame which is the skeleton is going to become clay no but it's going to become more grosser more grosser in the sense as we come down now you can see this is a gross body but as you go up there's no gross body it's a subtle it started body. it started as subtle bodies right it's yes just a mind board mind maze yes so, so yes and like now like so in the, the, yes. is, my question is is happening because of greed uh, more hoarding and more defilements no no i just said no raga dvesha moha equals to three we are at present not in three so we are born as human so you should have three times raga, three times dvesha, three times moha, then you become the tichak yoni, three yonis. Now all animals, 
all forms other than humans below are the chak. Yes. Hmm, that's a very that's another topic to take then. Okay. Okay. See, the chak yoni is a yoni which is because made out of Ragadvesha Moha becoming equal. Sama. If you see any animal, they fear, which is moha. Basic of fear is moha. If you have read, uh, if you have understood the uh, uh, armies of Mara, you, you can understand that. Kamate Pathama Sena is mostly in the sensual realm. You leave that. It's fear. Biru. Fear. So the first thing which will manifest as soon as you let go of a human existence is fear. Fear for life. That doesn't mean that human doesn't have fear for life. They have. But you are in a human realm. So you are not, you are fearing another human. So you know you can tame animals, you can tame this, you can tame that, you can find solution to it. But your only fear is human. But in the animal kingdom, the fear can be with anything. Right? Anything can take you. That's the fear. So the first thing that manifests as three is fear. Then when there is fear, there should be dvesha. Obviously. Because you don't like somebody to torture you. So you are in hatred. You hate that very thing. So three. Three times. We are in one, two, one like that in, in human. So you will find somebody more on moha, less on dvesha, more on raga, or more on less on raga, more on dvesha, less on moha. So you will have a combination of it. You will not have all the three becoming three. If it becomes three, you can exactly know he will become an animal. That's how Buddha used to see that this person is going down. Chuti papata jnana, which we are going to come in this same section. Chuti papata jnana. So you can see, ah, this person is going like this. Yes, sir, you. What's a practical way of seeing some person and identifying the Ragadvesha Moha are almost one to one to one? You have, like, to, you have to let me go right now because okay. this topic, if we were to take, is not less than 10 days. <laughs> and we are going to spend two hours into 20, 10 days, it's 20 hours. Even then you might not be fully convinced. So then again, we have to have a few more sessions on that to give you clarity. I would love to do it. I'm not saying I can't do it or I don't want to do it, but not today because I need to get into the office as well. So you have to, and a very nice question, uh, Bobby. Just a concluding remark, right? Any animal or any being lower than a human existence, what Buddha did, is to ensure that the five precepts are not broken. Because that will add to moha, the fear. The fear starts why? You kill an, a being, you will be killed, you will be hunted. Right? You steal, you lose, you get into hatred. Somebody will pick up from you. You lose it. They'll either kill you to take it, or they'll do something to take it from you. Second. Third. Kameshu Michachara. You'll get more enemies. If you look at the Ducharita Vipaka Sutta, it's very clear. You get more enemies. If you have more enemies, definitely you will be done something, tortured, which again adds to fear. So, three. Right? Three. Got it? Now, the second one. If it is one and two, it's okay. Now it becomes three. Why? You get Musavada, Visunavacha, Parusavacha, Sampapalapa. Beautiful thing. 
Take it. Have fun. Now left with only rag. Here is the beauty of Buddha Dhamma. Is intoxication. Sura mere majjapama dhatthana. You got into three of raga because you are totally gone. Sura will make you dumb. Mereya drugs makes you dumb. Pamada, anyway, you had. Majja is intoxication. So you say, I got an award, I got this, I got that. I take, take, take. Come to three. Super! Welcome! And hence, other traditions don't know Sota Panna because they don't know how to cut the three. Got the point? And hence, it's got Tichak Yoni. Yoni means whom? Tichak means one who has established exactly in equal in three so automatically the spine will turn like this without the spine you can't go up gone so in the heavenly world these things are very little like dvesha is zero. zero dosa is zero moha is one raga is three sensual raga is three, raga is three. Okay. It doesn't mean that he is in Sura Mere Majja Pamadatana because of the that, heavenly. That's the reason some people, when we see in this world, you know, they, they don't get very angry, but they have a lot of desires. You yes. can see that, you know. Yes. So they are, they are some kind of heavenly qualities. They have. So they don't have any hatredness to anyone. Yeah, no. I noticed that one of my friends is like that, you know. He, he does never get angry, you know, but he has a lot of desires. He's very, very calm and all, but he knows, I want to buy that, I want to buy this, you know, he's saying that. Yeah, so, so towards sensual. See, in the Sura Mere Majja Pamada Thana, he's in Pamada. Heedless. He doesn't know the reality. So, what happens is by trying to possess more and more things, he is increasing more and more of moha. So, they come back to the lower realms of existence. So, Buddha wanted to cut that out. That there should be no way you can go down to the lower realm of existence and hence Satapanna. That's all. Finish. Now you can't go down because Moha can never become three because you have support of Buddha Dhamma Sangha and your seal is intact. So, how will you ever go down? Impossible. So, so that's the greatness of Buddha. Not that you, you can't do this jhana, that jhana, eat jhana, this one, all, all this possible. It's not copyright of uh, Buddha. The copyright of Buddha is Hichakhyoni. Got it. Forever. As many births as you get. Now you're not going to go down. Yes. No, you are, you are on mute. Even if uh, sorry, I, I was saying, but it's not to say that Sila is a patent by Buddha, because all these other people will promote Sila as well. No, no, no. He that is Sila is there, but how to cut this root? That's very important, right? See, he has five precepts, eight precepts for a lay follower. Let's say eight precept is good enough to go to heavenly existence, but you'll come back to human realm. Fair. Deva, human. Deva, human. Beautiful. Nothing wrong. Why should you go down? That's, that's the um, gift of the Buddha. So we need to be always doing this for the reason that you will never be existing in any lower realms at all. That is the fourth Nama Rupa will not get established in lower realm. The first Nama Rupa will just wipe away in the night itself. Forget till your death in the night. The second Nama Rupa wiped out in the night. 
The third Nama Rupa also wiped out in the night. The fourth one is observing. That will establish. So my concern is on the fourth one, not on these three. For me, that honestly doesn't even matter. I am more bothered about the fourth one than the third one. These three are okay. I know it goes away. It's for personal experience I've seen it, it goes away. And when I was sitting in the Goenka uh, retreat, I was seeing it. Ah, gone. Good. Gone. Oh, this is gone. This is gone. And everything is gone. Nice. Got it. So I did it through Satipatthana route also. I did it through the Sayukta Nikai. And also did it through the Patisambiddha Magga Pali, which is uh, Anapana Satikatha. I felt very happy. Wow. One through Sariputta, one through these two. Done it. You've done it. So I felt very happy. So when I shared that with assistant teacher, I told him, you can do it through Sutta. You don't have to sit like this. Okay, anyway. So let me get back to work. But the Tichak Yoni will take it as a complete subject from the beginning. Okay, so tomorrow not there. Sunday, from Sunday onwards, we are there in the retreat. So the next meeting is on Monday, 16th. Thank you. Good day to everyone and good night. Bye-bye.